Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of this Holy Face Time. Um, I had uh, was reading the Holy Man of Tours tonight and uh, just looking for something on the Sacred Heart and the Holy Face, and I came across something that's just astounding that just blew my mind. So I wanted to share with with all you Holy Face devotion devotees out there um, this incredible circumstance that happened to Louis Dupont and. I'm going to read to you from the Holy Man of Tours. Um, it's on page four, 421 from the Holy Man of Tours. And this is the this is the biography written by um, Pierre Desire Janvier, the first. He was the first director of the Holy Face Arch Confraternity. <clears throat> so let's begin. OK, the sudden invasion of Paris. And the, this was the Prussian invasion in 1870. Uh, um, gave rise to a remarkable event closely connected to the last years of our holy friend. The religious of the visitation of Paris la Monnière, with whom he held frequent communication, had in concert with them, conceived the idea of embroidering a flag of the Sacred Heart to be sent to the brave soldiers who were chosen to defend the capital against the contemplated attack of a foreign foe. This flag of which a facsimile may be seen in the present oratory of the sacred face represented the sacred heart of Jesus with the aspiration heart of Jesus save France from Paré Le Moniel. And if you if you recall, my friends, um, Paré Le Moniel was the city which the sacred heart devotion began. OK, it was forwarded to Mr. Dupont with the request to pre present it uh, before the holy face and thence send it either to General Trochu charged with the defen uh, defense of Paris to be planted on the walls of the capital or to the volunteers of the West. Mr. Dupont called upon Mr. Rattel, an engineer of the railroad, and inquired if there was any means by which the banner could be introduced into Paris. And he was informed that Paris was completely invested and the trains no longer had access to the city. The idea occurred to both of them to present the banner to Charette, who had just arrived at Tours, Tours and whose Zouvets received later the name of Western Volunteers. So they repaired to the hotel where General lodged, and they were met at first by one of his brothers. Charette entered afterwards. He accepted the gift, and meeting was appointed for the following morning at Mr. Dupont's. So there, in the presence of the Holy Face, they opened the box containing the banner. Together, they prayed for the salvation of France, and they agreed that the precious standard should be deposited in the tomb of St. Martin until the following day, and that on the reverse side should be embroidered the words, St. Martin, protect France. The design of this embroidery was immediately drawn up by the, some of the ladies who were present and, they were, and the work was executed by the Carmelite religious. The history of this memorable, memorable flag of the Sacred Heart is well known. Uh, and how under its auspices, the Zouvets of Charette were, were covered with glory to the admiration of all France and even their enemies. Okay, so there's more, but I'm gonna just leave it there. So this banner is in the church of the Sacred Heart at Paris, and it bears on one side the Sacred Heart and on the other side, St. Martin. And it expresses the same idea that invoking the Sacred Heart and the Thumaturgus of Gaul, which is the name given to St. Martin, for the salvation of France, we see it originated before the holy face of Tours from a happy inspiration of Mr. Dupont. Wow, here again, um, I can't believe the, the, the holiness and the, the, and the connections that go back to the holy face and the holiness of this holy man of Tours and how he inspired so many great ideas for the church. Um, the, you know, the nocturnal adoration um, and there's just, we can go on and on and on. His, his, his love and his zeal for the Catholic church and of course, the holy face were just incredible. So um, I, I really thought that this deserved to get out there on, of course, on the Feast of St. Martin. 
and and um, bring glory to St. Martin and to the Holy Face and to, of course, to uh, Venerable Leo DuPont, who was so inspirational in, in doing this. It'd be interesting to know if that banner or if that flag is still there in that uh, the church uh, at, at Paris in that uh, in that huge, beautiful Basilica of the Sacred Heart. And if you recall, the day after the famous um, <clears throat> thing that happened at the Olympics, um, that the, the power went out all over Paris, and the only place that was lit up was the Sacred Heart of of our Lord Jesus Christ in that in that parish, that basilica was the only place that lit up all of France, and apparently you could see the lights from anywhere in France. It was amazing, right? Our Lord shows us so many signs and uh, so many wonders. Uh, incredible. Um, so until next time, God bless you all. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be the adorable face of Jesus. And um, God save France. Amen.